The seven hermetic principles, what they are, where they come from, and how they relate to the Bible. Now, first off, beloved, the Lord Jesus Christ tells us that I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be therefore wise as servants and harmless as doves, right? So he tells us we need to be wise and we need to know what's going on around us. Now, back to the seven hermetic principles. They come out of this book called the Kabbalion, which is a book full of knowledge. And it was written by three initiates who remain anonymous to this day and published in 1908. Okay. And they say that they got their knowledge from Hermes, which is the scribe of the gods, who came out of ancient Egypt. And he was, uh, he actually come from the city of Atlantis and Atlantis was destroyed and then he traveled to Egypt and he gave the emerald tablets which are these green tablets that have last throughout the ages they report these tablets to be something like 37,000 years old and have properties of gold which mean they, they don't they don't decay right they, they immune to decomposition and that knowledge that, that he passed on is where they got all their knowledge from to build the pyramids and their 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 structure. And you get that in, in, in the book they did in the Emerald Tablets. Now back to the seven hermetic principles. We start off with mentalism, and then we go to vibration, and then we go to correspondence, and then polarity, rhythm, and... Uh, cause and effect, and then gender. And a brief overview of what each one means, each one means is mentalism. The universe is all mental, right? That's what the Lord Jesus Christ tells us. If you believe with uh, a little belief as a grain of a mustard seed, you can tell this mountain to move wherever. You see, you're moving mountains with just your mind and belief. So the universe is mental. Then it goes to vibration. Everything moves, nothing rests, all things vibrate. And when you read the scripture in the beginning of Genesis, it tells us the Lord spoke and everything was created. Now you can look online and I can't remember the, uh, the, the, the actual terminology, but they can create pictures by changing the frequency of the vibration with sand on a certain table and they create pictures and start to, they even created life. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it life, but they can make things move uh, in their formed form, right? So like making an arm move or something like that by changing the, the frequency. So all this vibration. Then we go to correspondence. As above, so below, so below, so above. Right. And so, you know, the Lord tells us we must be as our father in heaven. Right. And, and that's what he also said. He was a direct representative of the father in heaven. And he had called us to be conformed to his image. So as above, so below. You see, that's why we got the word of God so that we we try to walk in his ways and. And, 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 and be as he is, right? And then polarity, uh, everything is dual and has poles or opposites. Opposites are identical in nature, but different in degree. Meaning the Lord loves and hates. The Lord makes alive and he kills. You see, he can lift you up or tear you down. He can be with you against you. That's why the Lord said, look, either you with me or you're against me. Because the Lord can love and he can hate. This is in the scripture. Now, it's been percolating throughout the society that the Lord just loves everything. But that's, that's, that's lies. You see, the Lord has poles. You see, so this one stays in line with the scripture. And then rhythm. Everything flows out and in everything has its tides all things rise and fall the pendulum swings 
So this one still is in line, right? And I just thought about, you know, the children of Israel, like they, they, they get taken out of Egypt, they get their freedom and they happy, and then they sad by the laws and the commandments that God put on them, and they thought it was grievous. So they get punished for that, and they get lifted up and walk in the Lord's ways. And then as they uh, they get fat and, 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 and full and they, 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 they enjoy that honey, they go back to their wickedness. And it's just a rise and a fall, rise and a fall. Here we are. Now we've been at the bottom for hundreds of years in the gutter. And I feel us rising back up. As the Lord has said, he will raise his people from their graves. So this one's still uh, in line with the scriptures. And then the principles of cause and effect. Every cause has its effect. Every effect has its cause. Everything happens according to law. Well, you already know this one. Right on point, right? You know, the law, it gave the law, right? And if you don't follow it, he told you this thing is going to happen. If you follow it, he tell you this thing going to happen. Cause and effect, right? And the law don't say a thing in vain. He not like us. His word is law. You heard me? Just like gravity. Even better than gravity because he created gravity. And then the last principle is gender. Gender is in everything. Everything has its masculine and feminine principles. Now, we war against this thing in today's society, but we know it to be true. If we don't follow gender, our society stops cold turkey, right? I mean, it's just over, right? In, in a hundred years, if we say everybody man or everybody woman, we ain't gonna have no more kids. That's just, that's just a fact. And so gender is apparent in everything. Because the Lord even spoke on this thing, made him male and female, right? So we see that the seven hermetic principles flow with the scriptures. The principle of mentalism, as I said before, the Lord said, if you have belief, you can tell this mountain to move. The principle of vibration. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, you see? The principle of correspondence, as above, so below the principle of polarity, love and hate. Everything has its poles. The principle of rhythm. Things flow in and out, rise and fall like the tides. And he he, he gave us the tides for the sea this day. He gave us the sun, uh, rise and sunset. The way the moon uh, uh, waxes and wings. Okay, the principle of cause and effect. Laws of nature laws of God. And then the principle of gender, male and female. 